Hello everyone. Welcome to the video lecture series on Z transforms. I am Professor Mayur Gohil. In this video lecture, we shall move ahead with some important examples on Z transforms and some important formulas. So let us see some simple important standard formulas. So the first example that I take here is to find the Z transform of the sequence which is given here by the following function fn where n is greater than a sequence is there so where n is greater or equal 0 where f of n is a to the power n now here f of n meaning the sequence is of this type a to the power 0 a raised to 1 a square a cube a raised to 4 it goes on up to infinite number of terms now what do we need to know is that here the general term is a to the power n. Okay, so f of n is a to the power n. Now we use the definition of the z transform that is z transform of a sequence f of n is equals to summation f of n times z to the power minus n where n runs from 0 to infinity. We have found the general term that is a to the power n. We substitute it over here. Now when we do the substitution here a sense of maturity in mathematics will help you to simplify this and such a simplification is possible because of laws of indices so you can write your summation and the terms inside the summation can be collected and written like this that is a upon z whole raised to n now if you wish to expand these terms it is possible to expand them and you can write down these terms as now when you expand this summation you will get 1 plus a upon z plus a upon z the whole square plus a upon z the whole cube plus and so on this this is the pattern that will be followed now we at this same time recall the expansions that we have seen in our first basic video lecture that would be required okay so we have seen that 1 upon 1 minus z has a similar pattern in expansion that is 1 plus z plus z square and so on okay so what do we do we use that expansion and we can see and compare with the closed form over here the summation or the series form when you see that it is z to the power r r goes from 0 to infinity instead of r in our case we have n that is okay now so it means if we impose the condition on z less than minus 1 we can write the closed form so what we will do we will impose the condition on mod of a upon z uh, we will impose the condition on uh, a upon z so that it will become less than 1 and we can write the closed form so we impose the condition here that is mod of a upon z is less than 1 and we have this as a closed form so this closed form when we write we get here z upon z minus a where mod a is less than mod z so the z transform is available with us and this is our first formula for a to the power n okay so z transform of a to the power n is z upon z minus a where mod of a is less than mod of z this is very important we have to remember along with the condition now this formula once we remember so we get a special case over here if we put a equal to 1 our formula transforms into z upon z minus 1 
okay instead of a we have one then so uh, this is the first important formula along with which we have a special answer or a special case formula also now let us go for the next one in this same formula we do some more manipulations or more depth of understanding is there so let us see so the first case we put a equal to 1 we got the answer for z transform of 1 which is z upon z minus 1 we put a equal to minus 1 then we get z transform of minus 1 to the power n which is equal to z over z plus 1 where 1 is less than mod z this is another important example please note the change in the LHS over here that is z transform of minus 1 to the power n we are getting okay the next one if we put k as a non-zero constant then we get z transform of k is equals to k times z transform of 1 this is because of the linearity property we have already seen that the constants can be pulled outside so k being pulled outside what we get z transform of k is k times z over z minus 1 okay and the condition is 1 is less than mod z the next important so all these formulas we mark them and we note down them because we will need them again and again okay so now we go for the next formula if we have over here in general that a negative number is there like we had a equal to minus 1 the formula happened to become z over z plus 1 so in general it will become if you have any number negative number here p where p is greater than 0 so here you take minus of p then z transform of minus p to the power n is z over z plus p now there is slight change here that when you have we found the formula for a to the power n but was a formula for a to the power minus n so in this case the formula is slightly different the same method we use we apply the definition because of the laws of indices we write it as 1 upon az plus uh, 1 upon az whole to the power n under the summation sign now when we try to expand this we will have the similar notion but the term what is there we will have is 1 upon az will be less than 1 okay mod of 1 upon az will be less than 1 having set that condition we can write instead of uh, z we have now 1 upon a z over here so we write that and we simplify this now the condition over here is slightly different that is z transform of a to the power minus n is going to be a z over a z minus 1 where mod of 1 upon a is less than mod z okay so this is very important formula with a very different condition apart from the others so please be very careful while using these formulas we need to know the conditions always so that our answer goes correct okay so this are the important formulas that I wanted to discuss in this video lecture I hope you followed each of them please make a note of each of them i hope you liked it please hit like button share it with your friends i'll soon see you with new example in another new video lecture thank you